Okay, this is molecular genetics, or how we build proteins from DNA. And we're going to see this is a two-step process. The first lecture will be the first step, and the second lecture will be in the second step. So this is actually kind of called the central dogma of biology. Um, but basically what it describes is how we get proteins from DNA. So if we start with our DNA, and... So here's our DNA, and remember DNA, we just studied the structure of DNA. It's made up of nucleotides with those bases. Um, and then through the process, there's two steps. Remember, first step is transcription. Through the process of transcription, we make RNA. RNA is very similar to DNA. We'll look at the structure of that soon. RNA can leave the nucleus. DNA stays inside of the nucleus. So this part here happens in the nucleus of the cell. And as we move into, once the RNA is made, the RNA nucleus can leave the cell, and the next step actually happens out in the cytoplasm. So the translation happens in the cytoplasm. Cytoplasm. It's hard to write with this thing. Cytoplasm. Okay, so RNA is structurally different than DNA in a couple of ways, and we'll look at that. And then the next step, so that's a two-step process, is translation. And this is where we make proteins. And so remember, proteins are build up of uh, building blocks called amino acids. These two are nucleic acids, and they're made up of nucleotides. And we'll look at the structure of the nucleotide of RNA. We've, nucleotide, we've already looked at the structure of the nucleotide of DNA. So these are made up of nucleotides. And so I kind of think of it as the transcription process is where we're going to make a copy of the DNA. So if you want to send your grades to a college, you don't send, like, you know, an actual, like, um, I don't know, report card, wherever you send a transcript, a copy of your grades. Um, and then once you're out in the cytoplasm, your RNA gets translated into a, to a protein. So these are nucleic acids. That's kind of one language. And we need to convert it into another language, which is the language of proteins. And so the words here are in nucleotides, and the words here are in amino acids. So we have to translate that information. So it's transcription followed by translation. Okay, so we're going to look at the RNA in a little more detail. Again, the monomer is a nucleotide. All nucleic acids, the monomer is a nucleotide. It consists of three components, the five-carbon sugar, like we saw with DNA, a phosphate group, and then finally a nitrogenous base. So this is the same as we saw in DNA. So we have a phosphate, we have the sugar, and then we have some one of the nitrogenous bases. Okay. But there are three differences between RNA and DNA. One is that the sugar is different. So the sugar and ri um, RNA is ribose. In DNA, it's deoxyribose. That's why DNA has a D and RNA has an R. Um, RNA is generally single-stranded. It can fold upon itself and appear to be double-stranded, but it is single-stranded. If you were to take the two ends and stretch them out, you would have one strand. Where DNA, remember, is double-stranded. It forms that double helix. And then RNA does not have thymine. Wherever you would have a thymine, it's going to be replaced by a uracil. Okay, so there are three different types, or three main types of RNA, and we'll look at these in each in a little more detail. There's messenger RNA, and we abbreviate that with a lowercase m in front of the RNA. And remember, RNA and DNA are always capitalized. Um, there's ribosomal RNA with a lowercase r in front of it, and then finally transfer RNA with a lowercase t in front of it. So we'll look at the structure and function of each of these. So the messenger RNA is linear, like a line, right? And so here we have just a single-stranded linear molecule, and we have all these bases that are open here. Right? And remember, it doesn't have thymine, so it's going to have uracil in place of thymine. The messenger RNA carries the message. It takes the message of the DNA out into the cytoplasm to be translated. And so it has the information to make a protein, or to put the amino acids in the correct sequence to make a protein. Ribosomal RNA is made up of RNA associated with proteins. And this is kind of globular, right? Big pile of it like this. And it consists of two components, two pieces, separate units. 
Um, and the ribosome is where the proteins are going to be made. Okay, and the last type of RNA that you need to be familiar with is transfer RNA. And transfer RNA transfers the amino acid to the ribosome. So if we want to build a protein, we need to assemble a chain of amino acids. That's what a protein is made of. So the um, transfer RNAs bind specifically to a particular amino acid and bring it to the messenger RNA at the ribosome to build the protein. So this process of transcription. So RNA molecules are made by copying a part of the DNA. They're going to be made by copying a section of the DNA. And we need to have a specific enzyme. If you remember DNA, when we build DNA, we use DNA polymerase. Here we're going to use RNA polymerase. So this is a picture of what's happening. So here we have a section of DNA. Well, within this section, of, within this long thing of DNA, there's a gene. So we're looking at that specific gene. So this section is the gene. And so we want to make a copy of that gene because that's going to code for the proteins. So RNA polymerase binds to the gene, and it slides along the DNA. And as it does that, it's going to make a copy of the messenger RNA. So it's going to unwind the DNA. And remember, RNA is single-stranded, so only one side of the DNA, because it's a double strand, is going to be copied. And it's going to use the same base pairing rules. And it's going to keep sliding along until we get this long, long chain of RNA. And then eventually, here's our RNA. Now this RNA could be messenger RNA, as it's showing you here, but it also could be ribosomal RNA or transfer RNA. So here's a close-up of what we we're looking at. So here is the RNA polymerase. So this is the site where everything is happening. And here's my blue is my DNA. Remember, it's double-stranded. And the pink represents my messenger RNA. So as this unwinds like this, RNA nucleotides are going to base pair to one side of the DNA. So this T bind with, with an A, this A, because it's RNA, is going to bind to a U, G to a C, G to a C, that's going to be the same, a T to an A, T to an A, but now this A is not going to find a T, it's going to find a U, remember. And that's going to keep going, this is going to keep sliding down, opening it up, and continue expanding until you get a long strand of RNA. And that is the first step in making proteins, transcription. The next lecture will be on translation, which is the next step.